Good evening, folks, and welcome to another weekend edition. It is Friday night, and we're on our way to Market Harborough, uh, where we've got a lovely little B&B for the evening, by the looks of things. Um, we always ask on the page before the week starts, or say where we're going, and ask for suggestions, and we were given a little suggestion, which is about 10 minutes outside Market Harborough, to stop at on our way down. So we're in the village of Church Langton today for stop number one, and this beautiful-looking puppy Ines called the Langton Arms. So this is going to be stop one, and then we'll go to Market Harborough. Oh, yeah. Very good decision to stop here. It's a lovely little pub. It's run that's one by the Red Red Cat Pub Company. We've come across them before in Rothley. Uh, it's a stunning pub, and this is no different. Uh, what is sort of on off? So this is the uh, this is the bar area. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, and it just uh, yeah, just a really nice village feel country pub. Great start. So we've made it to Market Harbour. Uh, we're a big fan of the Red Cat Pub Company uh, and the ones that there that we've done already. So that was a really nice little stop off on the way here. But into Market Harbour now, there looks to be a good little run of stuff we can do. And stop numero uno here is gonna be the Freemasons Arms. Looks like quite a big place. Bring on the beers. Uh, I tell you what, this has been an absolutely top place to have started in Market Harbour. Um, there's a, a massive selection of craft beers, cans and stuff behind the bar, um, uh, taps, which is always lovely to see because it's nice when places don't neck oil on. So the phones and Luna Haze on as well, which I love. Um, we've got some live music going on later on. It's a friendly vibe. It's just lovely in here. This is a this is a real top, uh, proper pub. Good start, Market Harbour. Good start. Uh, really impressed by the Freemasons Arms. Just a really nice feel about it. Uh, really good beer selection, um, and a great place to start. Really, uh, a minute's walk up, and on the other side of the road is the place where we've been most suggested to us on the post uh, for Market Harbour. And it's called Beer House, and. To be honest, it's busy, it's uh, still early doors, not even, well, it should, might, might just about be seven o'clock. Uh, and this looks right up our street. Looks to have a great selection of beers and stuff on. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Uh, yeah, very much up my street. Um, I've got a half a baker's dozen, which is a 4.3% cherry sour, but just we've got on our foot in here. Just there, uh, this is this. I can see exactly why this was suggested to us uh, so many times. It's a really, really good uh, micro pub type place with a really good beer selection. I'm looking forward to trying this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very nice. I'm so, so impressed with Beer House. It was absolutely wicked. Uh, just the sort of place, that, like a craft beer drinker's dream, to be honest. Uh, walked about two minutes so far, and we come across. Fernie Hall, which is registered on Google, it's a wine bar. So, uh, I haven't been in a wine bar for a while, we're gonna go in a wine bar. It's very nice, very plush looking little place, really, really nice. Uh, I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna go waving anything around, but yeah, it's uh, a really nice plush. This is definitely a date night style, date night vibe in here, really nice. So, this is the part of the video where I go on about how lovely the little town is and how nice the architecture and the old buildings are, but you know what? I'm gonna be that guy again, because it's just, this is like Market Harbour's little town square. Type place, and it's just uh, it's just nice, you know. It's nice to show you around the town sometimes, but we're gonna go and find a pub. Next water call was gonna be 53 um, opening hours on the window, uh, so till 10, it's closed and in darkness. So on we walk. So what shame we couldn't get to 53. It actually looked really nice. Uh, we can't, but here we've come across as spoons. Uh, I think it's called the Three Swans, and over the road, the Red Cow. So, three in a little tiny vicinity. Uh, we're at Weber Spoons, so you know what that means? That means it's Holly's Round. Story of my kin life, I tell you. No, it wasn't meant to be, was it? But just look how life worked out again, for you. Just wait a look at the camera, look. Look how life worked out for you. It's not my fault. It never is. Uh, it's deceptively larger. It's called the Sugar Loaf, the spoons. Deceptively large actually goes up. A long old way back. Uh, you know what? It's the spoons. Staff are fast, friendly. Um, it's quite busy. Busiest pub we've found so far. Um, yeah, as far as spoons go, can't complain. Nothing wrong with it. We got served, so you know, it's one up on uh, Pontefract. Yeah, it's all right as well with spoons. Uh, to be fair, just met two uh, two lovely fellas. We're gonna bump into them later, apparently, in Louisa's that we haven't done yet. So that's uh, that's to come. And he's gonna buy us a drink. You know, Simba. Uh, next stop is the Three Swans Hotel, which looks a lovely old boozer. Uh, so that is 
Stop number, stop number six for the day. Five in Market Harbour, six for the day so far. So this is run by the Coaching Inn group. We've only come across them once so far in Stafford in the Swan, which was a lovely old, uh, old building with lo lots of narrow corridors, low ceilings, beams, stuff like that. This is no different. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, they've actually got 32 in their group, so I've just read in the toilet. Um, and they've just won Hotel Chain of the Year for 23-24. Uh, which is some going. Uh, fair play, it's beautiful. So this is just uh, here. But yeah, what a wicked, uh, a wicked little place. Uh, really lovely, really smart, really snazzy. Uh, yeah, I can see why they've been voted as highly or, or regarded as highly as they are. Yeah, really lovely, really lovely old establishment that. Uh, dead opposite then brings us to the Red Cow for stop number seven of the day. This is a really nice place, really swank, feels really swanky, feels really nice. Got a bit of Michael Bolton playing in the background, I and mean, you can't go wrong with a bit of Michael Bolton, can you? We've got the sport on, it's smart, it's clean, the guys running the place are friendly, it's just, yeah, this is a, this is a top notch place, it's very impressed with the Red Cow. Yeah, really impressed with it, it's really nice, it's a really nice place. Uh, if you come out the back door of the Red Cow, you come straight to the, uh, the Nags Head, which is the craft union pub of the town. Uh, it's a nice little circuit here, to be honest, and a little small, Small vicinity, there's, there's quite a few pubs you can go in and, and all different vibes. So yeah, it's alright just there. Yeah, it's definitely the younger generation uh, pub of the town. It's the craft union, obviously, so definitely a younger crowd and things in here. It is, it's, it's all decked out nicely for Halloween, uh, stuff like that, pool table on everything like that. But the uh, three wickets and six quid deal, no more, not in here anyway. Uh, and the barman didn't know, he initially told us it was on, then uh, when he rang them through it wasn't. So sad times if that deal's gone because it was a good deal r.i.p three wickets for six quid deal let's hope it's just in market harbour so panic over it looks as though that deal is still on in craft union it's just not in the nags head for some reason having checked on the craft union website um so uh just a, a two second walk from there is the king's head which looks like it's probably their late pub so it looks quiet at the moment but it is next on our portal call so we're gonna go in yeah, this place is pretty cool. Uh, there's, there's a, a lady who works in she's been here 14 years. She's the right character. But something you don't find in pubs very often. Look at this. Orange Reef. You don't find an orange reef anywhere these days. They've also got orange hooch behind the bar in here, which I've never even heard of. The Halloween decorations here are pretty damn cool. Oh, there Pretty damn cool. And look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy up here. Look. Oh, look at him. It's quite the, the Halloween decorations are wicked. Let's have a look around. Right. Yeah, so they're open until 3 a.m. on a weekday, so they're in the late place, but yeah, loving it in here. Yeah, I reckon that's probably that's probably really good in there, like especially later on. Like, so it's definitely that's definitely the late place. That's the finisher for Market Harbour, I would have said. Uh, just across the road, uh Mikado Lounge. Yeah, don't piss off one of the uh, the ladies, she's worked there 14 years. I wouldn't piss off, she's scary. Scary, really nice though, but scary. Yeah, don't upset. Warm vibes, but scary vibes. Yeah. Uh, so, Mikado Lounge uh, is the last one of the actual sort of town centre circle, I think. Mikado Lounge, obviously, is one of the lounge brands. We've done loads and loads of these now. Uh, I think it's probably like the seventeenth or eighteenth one we've done. Uh, as the lounges go, it's swanky. It's got all your, uh, you saw your. There's a lampshade, one of those funky lampshades over in the ground and stuff like that. Friendly staff, good service. Thumbs up, Mikado Lounge. So, we're around a five minute walk uh, away from the, the town centre bit gets us to the other pub of Market Harbour, which is a nice old building. Uh, it's called the Admiral Nelson Centre of the Community. This, this is more like a community pub in the, in the heart of like the houses and stuff like that. So, they're always worth walking to, usually. So, we'll go and see what we think. Yes, this is a good community local. Um, definitely like in, in the house and stuff like that. I haven't actually seen what I'm talking about, but yeah, this is a very nice, good looking, well kept, dog friendly boozer. Um, yeah, it's worth the walk. It's worth the walk out town. Definitely something that shouldn't be missed. Um, you should definitely come and have a look at this if you're in Market Harbour. Very nice. Anything to add, dear? I'm in love with the dog that was at the bar, so. She's drunk. I'm not drunk. There's a dog, and it, the dog's cute. But. I make friends with the dog, which seems like what you would do. It is exactly what I would do, to be fair. Can't know that. So, our final port of call for the evening. Uh, having Again, we really liked the, the Admiral Nelson. It's really nice. Final port of call for the evening is Louisa's, that we were told is the other late night finishing place. They're up until 2am. Uh, and apparently it's a cocktail bar. It is, it's nice. So I'm going to go in and... 
about a pina colada? Yeah, they do that. They do pina coladas. Oh, it's a what? It's a bit classier than. I don't know what it's called. But a bit it's classier it's than a pina colada? Yeah, oh, classier than a pina colada? I'm sold. I'm in. I'm sold. We're going in. Ladies, have a lovely evening. I'm going to go and find my classy pina colada. Woo. And the good news is, they do do a pina colada, so we're going to try it together. Oh, yeah, it's good. 18 quid for two cocktails, not bad. Uh, nice vibe in here, have a look. It's, uh, it's, definitely like the, it's definitely like the younger hangout. The crowd in here is, uh, is definitely a younger vibe, but a uh, good place to finish. So, yeah, that's us. That's us out for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure you hit subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow for Newcastle Underline.